So uh, <laughs> with all these racks, of course, um, you have to clean tubs quite a bit. <laughs> so one of my viewers asked me, uh, it's, it's kind of a kind of a touchy subject, I guess. Um, so he he asked uh, how I gas my rodents, and uh, that's kind of one of the, the harder things, I guess, starting out is uh, if you especially if you raise your own rodents, is to to euthanize them. Uh, and there, believe it or not, if if you read some of the articles, um, there are pet stores that get raided and their animals get confiscated over the way they euthanize or kill their rodents, believe it or not. And the only uh, way that I know of that's pretty much universal, um, universally accepted as far as the media and the laws and the regulations, you know, uh, I think a, a lot of it's regulated by the State Department uh, of the state that you live in. And that is euthanizing or gassing with CO2. And I kind of showed, you know, some of my some of my rodents that I, I euthanized, but I didn't actually show how I did it. <laughs> and one of my viewers, they asked if I could show how to do it. So today I'm kind of going through my tubs, and I notice uh, I kind of flip this little mouse thing upside down, and it's because I noticed in here that. Um, these guys are fighting real bad, and with mice, my, with mice, you really, really have to watch them. Sometimes they get really mean, and they will literally shred each other to bits if you get some that are um, not compatible. And these guys, I, I, I heard them fighting. They're squeaking a little bit, and then I saw some blood in here. <laughs> you can see little spots of blood, and it's it's kind of weird because it's one male and two females, and it's always the male. That's that's basically the the problem. So you know, if I get if I get any mean animals, um, any problems like that, um, usually. Um, so so two females. I'm sure these guys are bred, so they will they'll produce a bunch of babies. And it's interesting that with, with mice, if you notice, I can just take the tub out, and they don't really jump out. It's it's kind of interesting. <laughs> I definitely couldn't do that with rats that they jump out. So. I have this guy, and he's pretty old, I'd say. Um, he's he, he doesn't have a whole lot longer to live because they, you know, they only live like 12 months and they die of old age. <laughs> so I'll show you how I uh, euthanize these guys here. Okay, so what I use is these big, uh, these big CO2 tanks. You can fill them up for like I think less than ten dollars, and I use this little regulator here. It's got a two different gauges on it and you can actually adjust how many PSI is coming out one has the PSI of the tank and one has the PSI coming out of the line you can adjust it with this knob here and what I do is I just hook the line right up to this little uh, it's like a uh, it's like a uh, it's basically what you put on on car tires and then I just took the core out and then I hook up this line to it and then from here what I do is I run it out outside and put it on this little stool. And then I actually like to to cover it. <laughs> just so you don't see them struggling. And then what I do is I just turn on this. this I just turn on this cage right here. And uh, so basically this is the pressure in the tank over here. And then this is the pressure coming out. I keep it like uh, at a really low PSI. And I'd say I run it for about 30 seconds. So another thing you really want to make sure you keep that outside <laughs> and I just have a little crack in the door here you definitely don't want CO2 in the house <laughs> then after about 30 seconds I just shut off the main valve and I like to keep these at a constant adjustment so I don't have to mess with them so then what I do is I just bring it inside set it on a chair and then I set a timer for three minutes so for this part I just basically use my phone <laughs> And I've actually, um, I've actually used um, time. I've actually used times less than three minutes. I actually started out doing two minutes, and the problem is, is sometimes um, the rodents will wake up. <laughs> so, so what happens is, it basically, it 
it numbs them out and it puts them to sleep with the CO2. And you have to do three minutes. Um, some of my big rats, uh, some of my real big ones, I'll go like three and a half minutes. Um, but I found pretty much three minutes universally um, takes care of them. All right, so from there, um, basically, ha, it's all prepped, ready to go. Um, so what I found, usually, especially if you're doing rats, uh, they tend to go to the bathroom a lot. And uh, if you piled a whole bunch of rodents in there and gassed them, um, they would all smell like pee. It's, it's, it's pretty bad. I've actually had a lot of, uh, uh, let's see, where did my tongues go? <laughs> oh, they're over here. So, uh, so, yeah, so I've had some people complain, that, you know, they get rats online and they kind of smell like pee. <laughs> and people that get my rats usually, um, uh, rats and mice, they say they, they're really, I, I, don't, I don't like to put too many uh, together. So, so I actually used to, used to feed a lot of live. And the problem with live is, um, uh, it, 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 a lot of your snakes will actually eat better if you feed them live. Um, but I like to feed mostly euthanized. Um, and then, you know, if I have a stubborn eater, I might follow up with a, with a live, but um, I tend to try not to. <laughs> so, so that's basically it. So... You know, it's, it's kind of a tough video to make and a, a tough topic to cover. And uh, if you guys are uh, keeping snakes and raising rats, I definitely want you guys to to do it the right way. And uh, I definitely don't want your place to get raided and animals to get confiscated. So I just thought I'd throw this out there. And, and you might want to just check around about uh, just kind of do a Google search on uh, confiscating reptiles. Uh, and, and kind of look at uh, what's out there historically because you know there's a lot of stuff out there that's easy to find and, and it just kind of <laughs> opens your eyes so uh, thanks for watching and I will see you next time